All right, so today I'm going to be doing a little trailer review on my uh, 2022 Trailerman. It's 23 foot deck space with a 9 foot tail, um, so 32 foot total. And it's the hydraulic dovetail. Um, and on this one, um, if you guys have watched previous video, I've kind of told you about this trailer, um, but not really. Um, but it does have the 12,000 pound axles under it instead of the 10,000 pound axles. And I have added a, let's see, a 12,000 pound Badland winch on there. Um, greatest investment I ever put on a trailer is a winch, um, especially for the gig I'm in. Winch and tractor up there, it's sweet. Um, but I guess I've owned this trailer since April and I paid, it was around 25000 for it. So the trailer is, it's now October, so May, June, July, August, September. I've had the trailer for six months, let's say. And this trailer is the worst trailer I've ever owned in my entire life. I hate, I dislike trailer men's. All right, good. That's what y'all needed here. Um, it is really dirty. And yeah, I live on gravel, so not never stays clean. But first complaint I have with this trailer is two weeks or so after I bought it, here you got your chain box on the front of the trailer which is in between the two jacks on the neck you know and as you can tell it has a latch on it the freaking two weeks after owning this trailer somehow the freaking latch just breaks and i some piece fell out of it i don't know how but it's just so freaking aggravating that at two weeks after owning a brand new trailer, something breaks. All right. So that's my first dislike about this trailer. My second dislike about this trailer is the tail. Trailer men's don't latch their tails like a Diamond C or a Load Trail or a Load Max. I don't know how. But this tail bounces when you're driving down the road. So, when you're empty, it bounces on your ball. And that, that's just the greatest feeling in the world. Um, this one, it isn't as bad as my old one. I used to own a 2016 Trailerman. Um, and the tail was completely wore out on that. Probably from bouncing all the time. Um, but yeah, this one, the tail bounces, bounces on your ball. Once you get a load on here, smoothest riding thing ever. But going to get your load, it's just pain in the butt all right now the third thing um don't mind how dirty it is in here because for some reason over the summer the hydraulic pump tank is right there somehow don't know why all the oil in there decided to come out so with all that oil coming out of there I have a wireless remote on this trailer to let the tail up and down. Pretty sure that's what this is right here that uh, senses that. And uh, yeah, my wireless remote don't work no more. Um, so yeah, that's great. And another issue with this stupid trailer is the battery box. As you can tell, plastic. All right, I have a ratchet strap on here because they had a cheap, cheap little strap across this battery. It busted just driving down the road. So I finessed this ratchet strap across my battery. And look, the box has broken off of the mounts. So now it just moves free in there. So, with all the wirings in here and whatnot, it's just bouncing on all my wiring, 
I've already had to splice this wire back together. I've had to replace a battery already because it somehow just boiled over and all over the place after six months old. And then one thing that's really starting to frustrate me on this trailer is it's probably not gonna do it on video. <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to do it on video. But every once in a while, it gets real bad about the tail not wanting to go up and down. I cannot figure out what it is, but once I, if I click the button a hundred times, it'll finally go up. And uh, found a piece of glass. If I click the button a hundred times or whatever, it'll finally go up or down, whichever I'm trying to do. But for some reason, it just won't. Or if I mess with the ground, it'll finally go up or down. But like, yeah, sometimes I come out here and the tail won't raise up or down. It's the most frustrating thing in the world. And when you're going to pick up a tractor, shoot, let's just say it's eight hours away. And you get there and the tail won't freaking go up and down. It's just the most frustrating thing in the world. You got to play with this thing for five minutes and waste five more minutes of your day it's just stupid i i don't know i just i guess you gets what get what you pay for um but you think a twenty five thousand dollar trailer would be a little nicer than what it is i mean like you can't even get a spare tire up here my old one had a spare tire up there and when you go to buy new, you can't even get a spare tire. But those are my dislikes about this trailer. And I honestly don't think I like anything about this trailer, to be honest with you. Um, I love hydraulic dovetails. Just because when you're loading up a tractor or unloading a tractor or whatnot, all that weight ain't getting put on the rear end of your truck when you're loading, like with ramps. All that weight's on the rear of the trailer and it lifts your truck or whatever. Or puts so much pressure on your ball. Um, so that's what I like about a hydraulic dovetail. It's all that, none of that pressure's on there um, loading. It's all on the tail. Um, so it, none of it's on your truck. But, oh, I guess another thing that I dislike about this trailer is when i first bought it um for some reason this spring right here there's these are spring loaded and when i went to push this down it wouldn't go down and i bent this freaking handle because it must be cheap and uh yeah i bent it i don't know why it wouldn't go down but now only one side locks in on this side when both of them like here are supposed to be in and I don't know. You you think a six six month old trailer wouldn't have these kind of issues? But I'm just saying right now, it's got tons of issues. Can't imagine how many more issues it's gonna have. Um, but next trailer I purchase will either be a semi trailer um, or a Diamond C. I hear too many good things about Diamond Cs. They're about double the cost of this trailer. But I guess you get what you pay for um, in the long run and whatnot. But I figured I'd just go out and buy a brand new trailer. I mean, I was only, ooh, I would have been only 18 at the time when I paid, uh, picked up this trailer. Um, so, I mean, that's all I could afford at the time. So... I picked this one up, but now that my business has just freaking gone nuts, um, trying to get rid of this junk trailer. It ain't junk, it's still got plenty of good things about it. Um, well, maybe. Uh, what I, if I end up keeping this thing, what I'm gonna do is weld me up a metal box in here somehow with like a little door right here. So when I need to replace my battery, I can open the door to slide my battery out or whatnot because this plastic crap that 
cheap designs. Um, yeah, like who would think a plastic battery is going to freaking hold in here or a plastic tray is going to hold in here with a 50 pound battery? People, I don't know. Things just frustrate me. So, yeah, that's what I dislike about this trailer. Um, yeah, when it you got a load on it, well, that's every trailer though, probably. Got a load on it, rides smooth. I mean, I can't complain. The brakes are great. Um, the lights all work and are great LEDs. Um, if trailer men would design their tail latch different, then that would be great. Um, Cause it when it bounce and ride, it rides smooth. Um, I hear a lot of guys that pick up tractors off of me um, have had trailer men's before, and that is their only complaint is the tail bounce, um, which I I understand. Um, my old one, I thought it was just because it's so wore out, but I see it on this one too, just a little. Um, but my main my con dislikes are not problems that i hear very often um but on these newer trailers my old one i can't remember if it had a plastic box in there or not uh either but it won it didn't bust like that um and my hydraulic pump functioned fine on my old one so i'm not sure what the deal is with this it's got to be something wiring just because it's been the wiring's been crushed a few times and I've had to repair it because of the battery box. So if I keep this trailer too much longer, I need to get something welded up in there for the battery so it ain't ruining everything in there. But I really, really am thinking about going with a Diamond C unless I can get a semi bought here soon. And then I'll just either get a semi trailer or a longer Diamond C with like a single axle semi or whatnot. But, um, yeah, those are a few dislikes about this trailer. I mean, I really don't. Just a couple major things about it. Um, nothing wrong with, like, the main frame or, like, the axles or so forth. Just minor, made minor, major, little things. Because um, the tail does work. You just got to just gotta play with it. Um, so on my next trailer i might go with hydraulic jacks uh, i'm not sure yet because they sure are sweet but i still am a youngin so i mean i still can crank on these but when you got a full load it's quite it's quite nice to just push a button instead of have to jack up the jacks um so i think that's all I really got to say about this trailer um my old one my ball must have been wore out on my old one or on my truck when i had my old trailer and uh, i was loading up a 7060 one time and the guy really didn't have a way to load it except a little compact tractor and it didn't run as a parts tractor um so i cocked my 60 there my white 60 cocked it like on a 90 um so the guy could put a chain right through the middle of the trailer pull the tractor on and uh, he didn't have much room, so he was in the road. And cars were coming, so I was like, all right, get it pulled on the trailer, and then we'll unhook. So I put my tail up. Well, he unhooked, so I put my tail up, getting chains ready or whatnot to chain the tractor down. And we were on level surface. That 7060 rolled off of the tail. By the time it got to the end of the tail, the trailer had bounced off of my ball the only thing that was holding it were the chains, um, but this wire here had ripped out of right there and in my uh, light box. So it was it was quite a day. Um, there ain't really nothing you can do once this starts rolling. But that told me my ball was wore out, so I got a new ball for that truck, um, and. Then I got a new truck and stopped towing with it. But I am looking for, if anyone knows, of a 03 through 07 Ford. I'd prefer a 350, but I could deal with a 250. Um, 60 power stroke. Needs to be a single cab long bed. Um, 
with a six speed manual transmission. Um, I ain't really worried about body rest, um, but it needs, needs to have a blown motor or no motor as I'm wanting to put the motor that's in my 6.0 here into, uh, so I clicked a button and uh, messed up my video. On. But as I was saying, I'm wanting to put the motor that's in my white 6.0 here into a single cab long bed with a manual transmission because I missed my manual transmission um, that I had. I had a Dodge one time and I miss, missed manual transmission. Um, so I'm really wanting to, my body's junk here on my white 6.0, the interior is freaking mint. And then we just redid the motor. Motor only has 48,000 miles on it. Um, I can't get what I want out of the truck. So I'm just gonna uh, pull the motor out of this one, hopefully find a single cab long bed, uh, six speed manual truck to put it in. So if you guys know of any, um, with a blown motor or no motor single cab long bed through the years of 03 and 07 um, either shoot me an email i'll leave it in the description below or uh, you can find me on facebook at bowman's tractor salvage and uh, find my number on there so i'd, I'd like it to be around the indiana around indiana um but i guess i'll probably travel eight to ten hours one way um, to pick something up if I have to but I'd prefer round Indiana um, and like I said body rust ain't I ain't too worried about as long as it ain't too far gone um, as long as like the doors are rust free and the bed is not terrible um, I can fix cab corners and rocker rails but yeah and clean title um and not no crazy collar like pink or something <laughs> well i like my black or white or brown trucks um not nothing too crazy but and i mean yeah just a blown motor truck because i don't want to spend 20 grand to put my motor in something else i'd rather spend five to i mean four to eight grand on something um so i guess if you guys know anything let me know um and uh i guess i'd be interested and i guess that's where i'm gonna end off today's video if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to hit that like button for me and uh, i'll try to get back to my uh regular tractor content here soon but today's been sprinkling tomorrow's gonna be raining so i'm not sure what i'm gonna post tomorrow um but i'll try to get back on that tractor content here soon since that's what you guys enjoy you don't seem to enjoy my truck content but that's what i enjoy so uh, i guess yeah stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching